Hello, good morning. Welcome to lesson 7 of the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ESP.NET Maker. I'm Benjamin Fadino. In lesson 7, we are going to learn how to apply the identity property to the account type column. Sorry, to the account type ID column in the account types table. We are going to learn how to apply the identity property to the account type ID column in the account types table. So first of all, we ensure that the SQL Server service is running. So I'm looking for the SQL Server instance called a book lower. Okay, it's running. So the next thing I'll connect to Management Studio. This time around, I'm going to use SQL Server Authentication to connect. So, Click connect. I'll expand the database for databases folder in Object Explorer. I'll expand my bank DB. I'll expand tables folder under my bank DB. So now I will right click on. Okay, let me right click on account types table, and then I'm going to see a teach top two hundred rules. As you can see, in the account types table, we have two rows right now. Uh, the first row contains a record for individual savings account type, whose account type ID is currently two. And then, um, the next row contains, um, um, individual current account types, account type, whose account type ID is currently six. Now, suppose we want uh, to take, we want, suppose we want to hand over the responsibility, the responsibility of inserting account type ID to SQL Server. And suppose we want the first account type ID to be seven the next account type ID to be to be 12. The next account type ID to be 17. The next account type ID to be 22. Let me take it again. I want the first account type ID to be seven. I want the next account type ID to be 12. I want the next account type ID to be 17. And then the next account type ID to be 22. So that means the starting point of the numbering will be seven. And then uh, the numbering will increase by five, by five. Okay. So we can achieve this by setting and by setting a property called account type ID on, sorry, we can achieve this by setting a property called identity. You can achieve this by setting a property called identity on the account type ID column. So let's do that. I'll right click on account types column. Again, I'll click on design. I'll make sure that I've selected account type ID column by clicking on the column selector for it. Then I'll scroll down to column properties. I'll scroll down to column properties I'll look for a property called identity specification. I'll expand it. So having expanded identity uh, specification, it exposes a sub property called its identity. It exposes a sub property called its identity. 
whose value is currently no. I will change it from no to yes. Now, after changing it from no to yes, um, identity increment is currently set to one and identity seed is currently set to, to one. What I want to achieve is that the starting point of uh, the numbering for account type ID column should be seven. So I'm going to change the identity seed from one to seven. And then I want the account type ID column values to automatically increase by five. So I'm going to change the identity increment from one to five. After that, I'm going to save my table. So I click on file and I click on save account types. Now, let's open the account types table again. So I right click on it, I say edit top 200 rows. Uh, let me right click and say execute SQL, okay. I'm going to delete. Okay. Let me enter. Let me enter the next value. Uh, let me enter. Operate savings. It starts from seven now. Now let me enter individual service. Uh, sorry, corporate correct. Now the increment is taking place. Let me enter children, educational account. You can see it's increasing by five. Let me enter um, national housing loan. increasing by five so on that note I come to the end of the lesson explaining um, how to set uh, identity property on an inte integer data type column thank you